I'm Carl Gray, I work for North Central Catchment Management Authority um, and I've been spending the last week speaking with landholders uh, about the Northern Eco Connections project, particularly entertaining or understanding what they've been doing with funding they received. We've spoken to a variety of different landholders, people who have conservation properties, there's people who have uh, high production farms, and there's others that have more lifestyle properties, and each of them has different actions they're doing on their property to try and improve the conservational value. They all have different backgrounds, some have a lot of knowledge, um, others have very little, and what this program allows is uh, for landholders to get funding and either pay contractors to help them do work, or to do the work themselves. I think the difference between this project and other projects is it's not governed by a week by week principle of this is what's required. So it gives them the flexibility to uh, move around their management actions based on if they've had a, a bad spring or a bad autumn and they're unable to perform an action. So basically they have to have done everything within that financial year, uh, not so much within that week or that month. I hope that people get from this project um, the, a learning experience and, and understanding that applying for government funding is not difficult and um, they can benefit from it. And I hope they also share this information with their adjacent landholders, land care groups, other associated clubs and uh, that more people get involved in the conservation movement uh, through incentive programs like Northern Eco Connections. It's amazing what people ask in person more so than via email or over the phone and um, it's been a great opportunity to be out and speaking to landholders face to face and uh, listening to their stories and, and hearing what great things they're going to do with our funding.